And welcome back, my as of Florida people. Coach Anderson here. And a great question that people always ask is, how do we handle all this information when we have a problem, especially when it looks to be very wordy? You know, how do we go ahead and make sure we manage this? And even if we make mistakes, how do we learn from them? So we're going to go over this question. And as always, no matter what word problem it is, I'm sure you know that I say start with the question. And if this is your first time with me today, well, you're going to learn today. Start with the question sentence. So here we are, we're going to start right over here, and it says, from what altitude and feet above sea level did the plane begin its elevation climb? So we're looking for the beginning altitude. So that's really what you want to break it down to, because whenever it comes to word problems, they're going to be asking you for an amount, and they could be asking you at what point. So that's really all I'm caring about, when and what. So it says, okay, at the beginning, that's the when, what was the altitude in feet? Cool. So we're looking for a beginning altitude. Let's go ahead and write this here. Beginning altitude equals blank feet. That's really what I want. That's what I've identified. Again, start there because once you read through the information, it's going to give you more clues to make sure that you know exactly what you're supposed to do. So let's read through the information here. And we see that the first sentence says that a plane over here Climb to an altitude of 10,590 feet above sea level. So it says that it climbed up to this altitude, and here's the beginning altitude that we're looking for. So right away, it sounds like we have a beginning, we have an end, and I'm certain that the rest of this information is going to talk about what happens in the in-between. And because I see that, because again, we're looking for the beginning, we have an ending amount, and we're looking for what happens in the between, that means we're dealing with a linear equation word problem. I know it's going to be linear because we're going to be giving it a rate, but we can assume if we're talking about the ASVAB here, that this is a linear equation. And if you're in my program, you can find that in arithmetic reasoning, unit number six. Again, if you're in my program, that's going to be unit six, solving equation word problems. So if you like this video, you're going to be able to go through there and be able to tackle tons. And I mean, hundreds of questions with step-by-step -step solutions. And if you'd like to try my full program for free, all you have to do is text a program to 833-321-0182 and then ask my uh, team here about the trial. Say, hey, I want the free trial, text that number, and you're good. If you've already had the chance to try the trial out, then go ahead and talk to it about the program. I'd love to have you in there and help you raise your score. So let's go ahead here and let's have ourselves a really good time. We're going to write down the information we have. So we see that the ending altitude right over here climbed to an altitude of 10,590. So we ended at 10,590 feet. And then we see that we have more information here. We see that it says, from the initial altitude, from where it began, the plane ascended at an average rate of 180 feet per minute over 54 minutes. So we see that we have, again, uh, we're ascending 180 feet per minute. And that happens for 50 for minutes. So here's a classic equation that you might recognize. It's going to be y equals mx plus b. So it's going to be right over here, y equals mx plus b. And let me identify what everything means. So the y, that's going to be identified as your ending amount. So that's your ending amount. Your b is your beginning amount. Then your mx, it's very straightforward. Your m is going to be your rate. In the math world, in pure math, m is your slope. But when it comes to word problems, that is your rate. They are legitimately the same exact idea. One's just used for math. The other one's used for word problems. But again, they represent the same thing. So slope is your rate right over here. And x is going to be time, how long it takes you to get to the end from the beginning. So as soon as you know that, you're good to go. You can plug everything in the right place, and you're set. And so watch this. We'll be able to go ahead right over here. We'll be able to say, hey, our ending altitude was that 10,590. That was our ending altitude. And then we have our rate, which was given to us strictly as 180. And again, that was over a 54 minute period. And we're just trying to find what that beginning amount was. So notice, again, very straightforward. All we have to do now is do a little bit of multiplication, then subtract, and we're done. Very, again, straightforward. 
So let's go ahead and perform 180 times 54 right over here. And let's get ourselves in rhythm here. So 180 multiplied by 54. So that's going to be 0 times 4, 8 times 4, which is 32. 1 times 4 plus 3 is 7. Then we go to the next line for the next digit. 0 times 5, 8 times 5. And then we have 1 times 5, which is going to be 5, plus the 4 is going to give us 9. So there we have that. Cool. Let me move this thing out of the way. And so now that we have 9,000, we will go ahead and add together 0, 2, 7, 9. And that's what we have here. So we'll write everything else out over again. And we have 10, 5, 90 equals 97, 20 plus B. So all we have to do here at the end is subtract 97, 20 from both sides. And we are done. That's it. So let's go ahead and figure out what that is. Let's just zoom in over here. So 10, 5, 90 minus 97, 20. That's going to give us 0, 7. That's going to turn into a 9. That'll be 15. So that'll be 8. So 870 is what we have as the beginning altitude. So 870 feet in the air. That is our B. And that will be answer choice D. And there we have it. So again, this was a solving a linear equation, a word problem at that. And we need to understand how Y equals MX plus B works. I know a lot of people like to joke around about, hey, we had this in school, but I'm never going to use it. Well, it turns out a lot of things actually utilize that equation. So make sure you understand how these equations work, how your formulas work. That way, when you recognize them in word problems, you're more equipped to be able to use the information you have. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and if you like this video, please go ahead and consider giving it a like, subscribing to the channel. That way we can reach more people just like you. And like I said earlier, if you'd like to learn more about our full program, I would highly recommend it. That way, you can go ahead and raise your score. Just text PROGRAM to 833-321-0182, and we'll get back to you ASAP, letting you know all the details about it and how to sign up. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next video, my ASVAB party people. You guys have been awesome. Coach Anderson out. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.